Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to a quick SketchUp for Schools training. Uh, we're going to use the rectangle and we're going to make one of my all-time favorites, a simple penny bottle opener. And then my favorite part is this one is 3D printable. So start with a rectangle and make it 40 by 40 millimeters. Uh, make sure you're in the millimeter measurements. Uh, remember, if you're not in millimeters, you can click Model Info and choose millimeters and then go back switch to the circle tool and move over the bottom of that rectangle or square and make a 25 millimeter radius circle. Click the eraser tool or use the letter E to select the eraser tool and quickly erase all those lines from the rectangle that we had built earlier. including this line up at the top. Use your tape measure tool and from the end point move up 20 millimeters. From that location do another circle and make that 15 millimeters for a radius. Push the space bar to select which is the same as clicking that tool and delete that center piece I am going to right click drag and select my guide point and delete it as well. Switch to that cool tape measure tool, click hold and let go so you can do a uh, guide line and type 5 millimeters. Switch to the two point arc, click on the first intersection, the second intersection and then simply move up to the top to give your bottle opener a nice rounded edge switch to the eraser tool and get rid of those little lines up at the top I choose to make all of my bottle openers six millimeters thick so at this point let's switch to the push pull tool and let's raise it up 2.2 millimeters by typing 2.2 and pressing enter we need to have a place for our penny. So right now let's do another guide point and let's go from the center end point two millimeters in on that green axis. And then from that location, let's do a pennies measurements. And pennies I have found, and I'm gonna make sure I'm on that guide point, fit best when I do a radius of 12 millimeters. I'm gonna go back to the eraser tool and I'm going to use the letter E to erase those and I want to erase this one. I'm going to press spacebar to select that centerpiece and I'm going to press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that section. I need this to be a straight line coming out so the penny fits better. So I'm just going to draw a straight line making sure it's on the green axis and that works close enough. I'm going to go back to erase and I want to erase those lines and remember I mentioned that we are going up six millimeters. At this point, when we do push-pull, we go up 1.6 millimeters for the pennies area, so the penny will stick in there. And then we're gonna add this top piece back across, and then we're gonna raise it up the final uh, 2.4 millimeters to get our total of six. My favorite way of doing this is to simply connect this line across, press the space bar to select and delete this middle section again, use that two point arc to make a similar arc. I'm not worried about it being exactly the same as the last one. I am worried about being on that end point. And then I'm gonna push it in uh, two millimeters and press enter, go back to E for erase, and get rid of that separate line. I don't like that, so I'm gonna do Control Z and undo. I'm gonna do it again, and this time I'm gonna push it in four millimeters. Nothing wrong with a little guess and check while you work with these things. E for erase, and that looks much closer, and I'm happy. The penny will be in the way, so you won't be able to see anyway. At this point, I'm going to go push-pull, and there's my final 2.4 millimeters, and then I'm also going to lift this up, and I can just infer it to the same height. So now you've got a bottle opener. That simple. It's not 
uh, created totally solid and everything but that's what's so cool about the STL export is that uh, it still works I've actually tried it once and I'll show you that actually functioning in a minute I want a hole so it can be a keychain I'm gonna make a three millimeter uh, radius circle and I'm gonna push pull it actually I'm gonna make sure I'm centered I don't want it looking wonky after all this cool stuff there's my three push pull and I'm gonna push it through and make sure it touches that corner if I orbit with the uh, scroll wheel you can see that that's pretty sharp and then this is what's so sweet type your name I put mine in the STL folder and I'm gonna save it and then it's as easily as clicking the download as an STL and then bring it into the software that you use for your printer I have found that my printer could totally handle this shape even though I did not create it in a way that has all these inside lines totally built the way they should be. Have fun, see if you can make one cooler, and uh, make sure you comment, post, and let me know if there's anything you think I could have done slicker. Thanks for watching, have a good day.